Hey there everyone, welcome to another episode of Easy Freezer Meals and today we are making chicken pot pie. So be sure to stick around to the end because I'm going to share with you a couple pro tips and I'm also going to show you how to bake it to get that crispy bottom. So let's start with the crust. First you got to sift your flour, add a little bit of salt and, I, and frozen butter. You're going to put that in your food processor with uh, some of the flour salt mixture that you just made up. You're going to process this and it's going to chop that butter up into tiny little particles. You're going to put that back into your bowl. Once you do this, you're going to take ice cold water. Now, this is a critically important step. Your, your water has to be ice cold and you're going to mix that in just a tiny little bit at a time. So you don't want to put it all in at once, but depending on the batch that you're making, you're going to incorporate you know, anywhere from a couple tablespoons to a quarter cup at a time until your dough just starts to come together. As soon as it just starts coming together, you're no longer going to need water and you're going to work it and fold it onto itself. This is going to give you a lot of layers until you have a workable dough. And the process shouldn't take very, very long. But once you do that, wrap it in saran wrap, pop it in the fridge for anywhere between three hours to overnight. And we're going to move on to the next step. Now, once this is in the fridge, you can go ahead and start working on the filling. The filling is going to be the vegetables and the chicken. Now, we're going to be sous vide our chicken, but if you don't have a sous vide machine, you can grill it or you can bake it or you can shred it. It doesn't matter. A little salt and pepper is really all you need. I use garlic, salt, and pepper. And I'm going to pop it in my sous vide bag. And the reason I like sous vide is because I can control the temperature. I'm going to cook it at 143 and a half degrees for two hours. Now what this is going to do, it's going to allow me to slightly have a more soft version of a chicken so that whenever I bake it again on the reheat, my chicken doesn't get rubbery. So if you're going to be grilling it, just come off of your chicken roughly about 20 or 30 seconds before you normally would. Once you process your chicken and dice it, set it to the side. And in this case, now we're just going to go ahead and process all of our vegetables. So we have celery, we have carrots and we're gonna use peas. Now, I'm just going to dice everything into relatively small portions. I'm using a RoboCoop food processor, which is absolutely amazing. This thing processes food like a boss is what it does. And once all my vegetables are processed, I'm gonna blanch them uh, for no more than three to five minutes, depending on the vegetable. My carrots, I want slightly soft. So I'm just gonna blanch those for about five minutes. My celery, I'm gonna do those for about three minutes. So in hot boiling water, and you can use the same water that um, is slightly salted, you're gonna go ahead and blanch your vegetables. And then finally, I'm gonna add my peas. And I'm just doing this the same thing. And so all three of these vegetables are gonna be done the exact same way. We're just blanching them, removing them from the heat, and then cooling them down very quickly. Once all of that is cooled down, we're gonna go ahead and add our chicken to our vegetables. Now, the ratio that I normally use is two parts vegetables, one part chicken. And so I normally throw all my vegetables in a bin and then go ahead and mix it up like that. Wherever your vegetable chicken mixture is, just make sure that it can drain. You don't want any extra moisture in your pot pie. Let's do the gravy. The gravy needs butter, flour, onions, your seasonings, and your rice flour. Now I'm gonna make sure to put all of the ingredients below and the recipe, but here's a pro tip. Before you use your chicken stock and milk, make sure that you heat it up alongside of your roux that you're gonna make. This is a very important step. So what I've got is I've got my milk and chicken stock that's heating up on the right side of the pan, and now I've got my butter and onion mixture that's cooking. After about five minutes, once it softens, I'm gonna add my flour, and I'm gonna cook that for about five minutes three to five minutes till I get that flour taste cooked out of it. Once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and add the warmed milk and chicken stock, about half of it, mix it real well, and you're gonna notice that this is gonna cause your mixture to thicken very, very quickly. This is gonna save you about 45 minutes of cook time. So once it's nice and thick, I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of my milk and chicken stock mixture and mix that quite well. And here is pro tip number two. As a freezer meal, you're gonna to wanna to incorporate a little bit of rice flour into your mix. And so in a little bit of water, I'm gonna just dissolve some rice flour 
and then I'm gonna add it to my gravy. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna help actually not only thicken it up a little bit better, but it's gonna stabilize it so that when it thaws and reheats, it doesn't break on you. And notice my gravy is nice and thick, so you're gonna cook it until it's about the consistency that you want, but you do want it thick. Now set it to the side and allow it to cool. Once it cools, we can now begin working on the assembly. And so what we're looking at is we're looking at doughs, the top part and the bottom part. And so what we're doing is we're processing right here the, the bottom crust, and we're gonna go ahead and put it in our tin. Now if you use a smaller tin or a larger tin, it doesn't matter. Uh, for this particular size, we're using 200 grams of dough, and the top is 100 grams. And so once I have my base formed, I put two cups of filling and one cup of gravy. And notice how the gravy is really nice and thick. Once this freezes and heats up, that gravy is going to really come together. So notice I have an assembly line going. I'm working on filling. I'm working on putting on tops. And as I'm done with each stage of the process, I'm just going to go ahead and close them up. And notice how we're incorporating the bottom and the top by pinching the sides with a little fork and giving it an air pocket to breathe. And at this point, I can lock it down. And so what we're gonna do is just gonna package it up and pop it in the freezer, and that's it. At this point, she's ready for about six months of freezer goodness. You can freeze it and enjoy a chicken pot pie whenever you want. For us, we're gonna repeat this process about 150 times because we make a lot of them. It's absolutely an amazing dish that is just a favorite of every single time. So let me show you how to bake it because this is where it gets tricky. The chicken pot pie, if not baked properly, can have a soggy bottom. And if that's what you're into, then don't even worry about it. Just bake it in the little tin that you put it together. But what you wanna do is you wanna preheat your oven to 450 degrees, take your frozen pot pie, and put it on a greased baking dish. And pop that in your, in your oven. Uh, remember, 450 degrees, pop it in there for one hour. And you wanna pre-grease it, right? So make sure it's not stick, but definitely pre-grease it. And this is what your pot pie is gonna look like when it comes out of the oven. It's gonna be nice and crispy, super flaky. Listen to this when I cut into it. Doesn't that look amazing? Wow. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to our channel, consider subscribing. We're gonna be posting easy freezer meals for you to enjoy, for yourself, for your family, or for a business if you wanna start a business like we did, sharing all of our secrets every single week. Help us spread the love of cooking freezer meals by sharing this video and check out some of our other videos. We've got a Ultimate Beef Wellington by Gordon Ramsay freezer meal that you're gonna love. Thanks again and keep it chill.